to our Commitment 2018 coverage. We've been covering a lot of uh, races for you tonight, including Secretary of State. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I think it's one of the biggest surprises, at least locally here. Uh, so Kyle Ardwin, incumbent, thinking mm -hmm. uh, he's going to take a, a huge lead. And then you had Julie Stokes, whom you thought would be number two, at least we saw in the campaigning. Um, but then we had uh, Gwen Collins Greenup, which literally on my phone, I am Googling <laughs> information about yes. how this happened. We heard from her earlier that she raised something nearly, um, she only had $3,000 asked for no money. You and I have talked about this before that money makes a difference in yes. the campaigning, but not necessarily here. Well, in this particular case, a couple of things came together for her. She was able to mount a social media presence, coalesce the African-American vote, yet other candidates in the race. Now the primary is over, the runoff begins. What she must do is one, raise money, two, get the support of those who did not make the runoff. That's going to be very interesting to see where those losers go in terms of who they will support. But it's critical that she will have to raise money. It's a competitive race. This is a completely new race now. And keep in mind, the runoff is December. And finally, she did surprise us, though. Right, Absolutely. Uh, coming out of nowhere. I mean, just talk about a non-traditional campaign with just basically outreach, um, with no real media presence outside of social media. Mm -hmm. um, but in the runoff, she's going to have to run a more traditional campaign. She's going to have to have some sort of organization, some strong media presence. Yeah. She's going to have to raise money because she's going up against a professional. Well, the runoff changes the game. Yeah, December 8th is the runoff. All right, thank you, gentlemen. We've been also keeping a close eye on the race for Harahan Mayor. Fletcher Mackle is live in Harahan with the latest on that race. Let's go, 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 go. That's right, we're here at Harahan where Tim Bo is the new mayor of the city of Harahan from the city council to the mayor's office. What is going to be your first order of business? Um, I think my first order of business is to bring positivity back to the city council, to show that everybody, to show everybody that the mayor and the council can work together, to show that we are unified, Harahan, and that we're going to move this city forward. As far as working with the police chief, with the fire chief, you had a lot of endorsements. Do you think that will be something that is needed in the city? I absolutely think partnership is always needed within business and within government. Partnerships is how we grow. You know, you and I spoke earlier, and I told you we uh, what makes a good elected official is two things. Your ability to work well with others and your relationships. And I, and I have those relationships that will move this city forward and be the great city of Harahan that we can be again. You said this is the sixth race that you've run for. Was this the hardest fought race that you've ever oh, been in? Oh, my goodness. I got to tell you, I've run six times, and by far, if you add all five up together, this was the hardest one. Um, the race got a little negative. It didn't it didn't damn for our parade. We, we made a pact to never go negative. We don't like that kind of campaigning, and we kept it positive all the way to the end, and that's that's the way we won this. We kept it positive. Here's Chief Tim Walker right here. He endorsed me because we're going to work together with this police department and get our police department back where it should be. All right. All right. All right. Tim Bodier, the so new much. mayor of Harahan. Back to you all in the studio. That's some excited folks out there for Tim Bodier.